We're now joined by the head coach of the Leeds Rhinos, Rowan Smith. Rowan, how's pre-season going for you and the Leeds Rhinos? Well, uh, the boys are thankful pre-season's over now. Uh, we're, we're back in tomorrow and uh, we, we start the uh, round one task of, uh, of Warrington away, but we've, we've had an enjoyable pre-season. Um, the boys have come together nicely. We, we haven't yet shown it uh, consistently on the pitch, but we've, uh, we've, we've, we've shown bits and pieces of what we want to do quite an extensive pre-season has that allowed you to try a number of players in different positions yeah it has it's um you know playing four games in a pre-season is uh you know unfamiliar to to most of the players particularly coming from australia um but something obviously i I knew early in the piece so we we planned that out quite well i thought to to get everyone suitable amount of game time to to help them sometimes players didn't play a lot of game time on a weekend which allowed them to pull up well so they could train hard during the week uh, so over the course of the January we feel January February we feel like we've got enough work into players um, and we've yeah we've had that opportunity to give a lot of young players opportunity and, and to to get players in some different positions yeah you look at the Leeds Rhinos currently there is a lengthy injury list how much of an impact is that going to have on the first sort of quarter of the season and when can we expect players back? Well, it's it's always about who is playing. I'm not too interested in who's not playing on a weekly basis. Obviously, behind the scenes, we're doing everything we can to get those guys on track and, and ready to play well um, game one back. Uh, but, you know, we feel like we've got a, we, we've got a good roster. We've got some depth in, uh, in all positions. So it gives other people opportunity early in the season, which... They've worked hard through the preseason, so they're probably most ready for it as well. Uh, we'll have three or four blokes back in the in the first couple of weeks of the season, so that'll be a nice boost when they do come back. Nine players in, ten players out. Not quite wholesale changes, but enough changes perhaps to disrupt the continuity and cohesion. Uh, I think. I think in, if you look at our season last year, you know, we didn't play our our. Uh, first choice spine hardly played together we had a lot of different combinations and that was also part of our our uh, identity or our upside was the ability to to play a decent level regardless of who or who wasn't playing so um, yeah I don't really look at it like I, I, f- I kind of forget who's new and who's who's um, who's old because the, the players that have come in have, have really fit in well. Um, a few of those lads are, are really projects for, for the future, uh, but you know there's five or six of those guys that are going to be featuring regularly and you wouldn't, you wouldn't know that they've only done one pre-season with us. They're, they're very comfortable and very familiar and, and really part of the group. You've mentioned previously, Rowan, yeah. that you were trying to be sustainable when making changes to the playing roster. What does that entail? Oh, well, it's having a vision of who, who can help us this year, but also who's likely to, to grow and become a, a long-time rhino. Um, you know, I think players like Justin Sungary and um, James McDonnell, those guys are in their you know, early, mid, mid-20s. Um, they've got their best ahead of them, and I, I see those kind of guys in a great position to, to grow and be 10-year rhinos. You know, that's, that's the vision for those kind of guys. There's others that have come in that are, you know, very experienced. Nano McDonald, Sam Lassoni, um, Darrell Olfitz, those guys are very experienced. But, you know, to me, they still have three, four, five years of, of top-end um, performance in them. So everyone that came in um, was brought in for a, for a particular purpose, um, and, and not just a quick fix, yeah. And looking at those Championship and League One players that you've brought in, players like Luke Cooley, Lewis Roberts, Toby Warren, Leon Ruin, those players obviously not for the immediate, but as you say, for 24 onwards. Most likely, you know. Uh, a couple of those kids are, are flying, you know. They, they've really thrived in a full-time environment and, and in amongst our playing group, they've just felt comfortable enough to be themselves and really accelerate quickly. Uh, Nothing will surprise this year as far as who, who creeps their way in, but it's, um, yeah, the, those guys are there to, to play a role this year and to see where they can grow to in the future. What's the plan for that fullback role for now and obviously in the future? Uh, Richie Myler will be playing fullback in round one. Um, 
Ash Hanley's played there during during the preseason, done a really good job. Um, I see Luke Hooley being able to play Super League. Um, we've also got some some young kids there, Alfie Edgel and um, Riley Lama, uh, kids that are coming through our program that that could grow into that. Um, so, you know, we feel like we've got op- options there and and people coming through for the future. But uh, for the for the time being, we'll pick our best one for the week. And just finally, Rob, when did you feel last season? You come in and you overachieved in getting to the final. Was that ahead of where you obviously thought Leeds would be? I don't really buy that sort of overachieving. Uh, um, you know, I think they talk about underbelieving or overachieving, whichever way you want to look at it. But you know, we got there, so um, we must have. Well, we did earn it. We did earn it. Uh, but to be honest, it's it's long gone, and what happened last year is is irrelevant now um it was nice memory for the for the fans and for the people in the club particularly um you know maybe one day when i'm an old bloke i'll reflect on it too but for me it's it's very much been in the present and, and getting started round one